Hi, hello. Good evening. Good evening, people. How are you? Fine, teacher. You? All right. Ready. Teacher. Hi, hello. Good evening. Hello, Sully. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Romeo. How are you? Good evening. Good. How was the day? Busy? Not busy? Very busy? Very, very busy. Okay, good. No busy. Not busy. Resting. Yes. Re relax. Okay, that's good. Relax. All right, very good. So let's see. And yeah, let me check. Two. Okay. Okay, here we have the, the periods with uh, foreign scenes, right? Remember, this is what we have. And let's move. Then we have the knowledge check. Okay, we're going to answer the knowledge check, but before we we answer okay, we're going to I will play the video again for you to refresh your memory. Hello, in this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time, for six years, for a week, for a month, for hours, for two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since 2 o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Okay, <clears throat> then we have, uh, it's a, read the following sentences and choose between for and since, depending on the context, right? So then uh, we have to use, Pam was in Central America, and then we have to choose from one of these two options. Then, uh, let me see. Okay, Romeo, which one would you choose? For or since? For teacher. For? For teacher. For. Yeah. Okay. For a month last year. Okay. 
Pam was in Central America for a month. When? Last year. Okay, good. Then, uh, Norma, what about the second one? For teacher. Read the sentence. Hi. Uh, I, I've been a college student for almost four years. For almost four years. Okay, good. Arely, hello. Hello. Read the number three, Arely. Um, Hiroshi. 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 Six. 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 Okay, good. Okay, Enrique. Number four, teacher. Uh, I haven't yes. gone to a party for a long time. For a long time. Good. Suli? Just, li just live in Venezuela for two years as a kid. For two years as a kid. Carol? Um, yes, number six. Yes. Uh, my parents have been on vacation since Monday. Since Monday. Okay. Urania, number seven. Um, Natalie was engaged, engaged to Danny for six months. For six months. Okay. Good. Marilyn? Pat and Valeria have been best friends since high school. Since high school. Okay. And Flora? Number nine. Night. We have been in class since 5.30 p.m. Since 5.30 p.m., all right. And, well, again, Romeo, number 10. The babies have cried for 40 minutes. For 30 minutes. Okay, thank you. Now you see here that all of them are correct, okay? And we have the concept, right? We have the idea how to use or when we use for, for, period of time, since a specific moment, right? When an action started or began. We have four and six. Good. Now, now in this session we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking T and ED sounds in birth with the vowels that follow. Okay. Hi, in this lesson we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in No problem. Can you hear it? Yes? Yes. All right. Hi, in this lesson we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. 
Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. In this lesson, we will work. Yeah. Hi. In this lesson, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural. Okay. Now listen again. Eh, apaguen sus micrófonos para que escuchen bien los sonidos de cuando hacen el link. Yeah. Hi. In this lesson, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Okay. Hey. This is the reason why sometimes, por eso es que a veces cuando estamos uh, oyendo inglés, decimos que no escuchamos, que no entendemos, o que no se oye esta pronunciación, ¿ok? Por las uniones que ellos hacen, ¿ok? It's a lax pronunciation, when they say... Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. I've already cooked it. Them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. I already cooked it. Remember, eh, en aquella lista que les dije, decía cook, cooked. Okay, the pronunciation is T at the end. All right, so then say cook, cooked. Then when you have ya lo, lo cocine, then you say cooked it. Okay, I've already cooked it. Eh, it's when you say, for example, yalo, yalo vi. Okay, eh, alguien que no hable español diría que es una sola palabra. Okay, va a ser, no, ya lo vi. Eh, ya lo vi, cuando, cuando nosotros lo decimos, lo decimos tan rápido que no hacemos, ese lo, es cooked it, ya lo cociné, ya lo. Suena como una sola palabra, right? Then in English, sucede lo mismo, right? The same link. That's what they say, linked sounds. Sonidos unidos, right? So linked sounds. Cooked it. Cuando termina con T o cuando termina con D. Look at this one, it says, Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Tried it. Tried it, cooked it, tried it, cooked it, tried it, cooked it, tried it, cooked it, tried it. This is like a little R, una pequeña E, tried it, cooked it, cooked it. <clears throat> Link to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Okay, look. Have you ever cut your hair? Okay, so your hair is it. Yes, I cut it. Yes, I cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Then, have you ever tasted goat cheese? Then, what would be the pronunciation for the answer to that? Have you ever tasted goat cheese? Then you will say yes. I've okay. 
او ريف ناسي Yes what? Yes. What is? I went. I tried. Try. I, I tried. I tried. Tried it. 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 Yes, I've already cooked it. Cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in my... Yes, I tried it. Tried it. Tried it. Uh-huh. Tried it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. No, I... Okay, tried it. Have you ever tasted goat cheese? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Yes, I tried it once in Italy. Yes, I tried it or I tasted it, okay? Tasted is another one that you can use. Let me see. Yes, I... Tasted, I tasted it once in, in Italy. Mm. Okay. You are a tasty cat. Tasted, tasted it, tasted it, tasted, tasted, tasted it. Tasted it. Tried, tried it, tried, tried it. Tried it. Uh huh. Brought. Okay, let me see. Tried it. Bought. Bought it. Bought it. Bought it. Uh, read it. I read it. Read it. Okay. Ask, ask her. Ask her. Ask her. Aquí la H no suena. Ask her. Okay. It gets ask. mute. Ask her. Ask her. Okay. Ask her. Okay, ask her, ask her. Okay. What else? Uh, you read it? Uh, have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Yes, I read it last week. Uh, let me see another one. Ask her, read it, uh, tried it. We have another another one with E or oh, with T. Taste it. <clears throat> Tell me another one. Try to think about one. Piensen en alguno ustedes. How do you play a, a soccer the last, last weekend? Yes, well in that case, yes. Did you play soccer last weekend? You say, yes, I did. 
Oh, yes, I played. But I played it. No, I played. Did you play the CD? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Did you play the CD? Yes, I played it. I played it. Okay. Played it. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so then you can think about verbs that finish with these two sounds. We'll work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds. Okay, when this this is the final t and the final d. D. Okay, when the verbs finish with this t, d, t, or d, then you can. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I already cooked it. Yes, I tried it. In verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Okay. Any the other bear? Mm. Let me think. Teacher, um, yes. the verb is um, participle. Uh -huh. It has to be in past tense or past participle. Mm. Depends. Depends on the on the sentence. The important thing is that the sounds is T. Or then you have B. The, right? tried with these sounds. For example, you say this one. Stopped it. I stopped it. Okay, stopped it. Then you pronounce stopped. It stopped it. Uh, this I that you see here is like an it. It. No eat, right? It's eat es comer. This is it. It is no Y corta, right? It. Stopped it. Stopped it. Tried it. Tried it. Okay. Stop it? Stopped it. Stopped it. Stopped it. Stopped it. I stopped it. Okay, I stop it. You can see, this is another one. Stop. Stop it. Okay, stop it. Stopped it. Stopped it. This one has an extra. Stopped it. Stopped. It. Stopped. It. Stopped. It. Stopped. It. You have to compare. This is with P. This is with P. Stop it. Come on, stop it. Yeah, that's not right. Stop it. Stop. And then stopped it. Do it. I stopped it. I stopped it. Okay. This is when you when you link when you link the sounds is when you have more fluency. Okay, more fluency to speak. Uh, remember that if you say 
I stopped it. Sounds like no, you are speaking very slow, and probably in a in a class, the teacher to to make the sounds uh, clear for the students. You can say I I saw the ball coming to my face, but I stopped it with my hand. Okay, I stopped the ball. I stopped it. Okay, then uh, you say I stopped it before it hit my face. This is another one. How do you pronounce that one? Mm -hmm. Hit it. Hit it. I hit it. I hit it. Okay. I hit it. Or then you say, right? I hit it. I hit the car. I hit the ball. You say, I hit it. And if it is a, a person, Hit him. I hit him. I hit him because he was hitting me. Okay, I hit him because he was hitting me. Okay, mm -hmm. Suli, where is Suli? Suli, aquí un trabalengua para usted. Okay. <laughs> okay, you say, I, I, hit, hit, uh, I, hit. I hit him. Look at this. I hit him. I hit him because because, because he was hitting me. Okay. Okay, Suli, really quickly. I think because he has hitting me. Okay. <laughs> I say I hit him because he was hitting me. I hit him because he was hitting me. I hit him because he was because he was hitting me. Le pegué porque me estaba pegando. Okay. I hit him because I hit him. Okay, I hit him because he was hitting me. Okay, then you can see that hit him, hit him, aquí la H no suena, hit him. I hit him because he was hitting me. I hit him because he was hitting me. Uh huh, okay. I hit him because he was hitting me. Then you have stopped it, tried, stopped it, stop it, hit him, hit, sorry, hit it, hit him. I hit him because he was hitting me. I hit him because he was hitting me. I hit him. I hit him because he was hitting me. Because he was hitting me. Uh -huh. This is I hit him with M, right? Because I he was hit hitting. Because he was hitting me. The sound, la diferencia, el sonido de la M y la N. Y la hit, N. Him. hit him. Hit him. Hitting. Hitting. Hit him, hearing. I hit him because he was hitting me. Exactly. Okay. I hit him because he was hitting me. Good. Okay. Um, and then this is the natural, the natural uh, way of speaking, right? Remember that in the books or in the class, we say, I hit him. I hit him because he was hitting me. But uh, in the forma coloquial that we do every day, you say I hit him because he was hitting me. Okay, you say I hit him. That's why um, then you're gonna use okay, in algunas canciones or revistas, pastines, historietas, we're going to say, hit him. 
ok. Lo van a ver así. Miren. Bien informal. Very, very informal. Ok. Now, questions, people? Um, the verb always um, finish in D and T. Yes. El, el sonido. Example, but it has to be the final sound. Ah, okay. thought. El sonido final. Thought. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thought. Bought. Bought it. Eh, for, for example, uh, uh -huh. Foot. Coat. 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 Got it. Uh -huh. Bought. Eh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tiene que ser un verbo que termine en D o con sonido D o T. Remember? Pero. Sleep? Sí. No. No. Eh, sí. Told. Sí, pero Told. tiene que ser un verbo transitivo. Transitive. ¿Qué es un verbo transitivo? Es un verbo transitivo. Un verbo en el que después puedan usar. An object pronoun. Si después del verbo pueden usar him. Eh, her, it, as, you, me, etc., 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 right? Then, esos son los verbos que necesitan. Por ejemplo, let me see. Teacher, yes. What's going on with the bird buy? Sometimes you you can say just buy it, something like that. But that that bird it doesn't finish with D or T. Buy. Buy, yeah. This one. Yeah. Not by present, but in past. Bought. Bought it. Uh huh. Yeah. That's in present, but in past, yes. Bought it. Bought it. Ajá. Then the sound here is T. Eh, por el decir, depende del, del, de la expresión y si después del verbo se puede usar un pro, eh, object pronoun. Eh, for example, eat. Eat. Sí. You can say eat it. Ah, lo he comido. Eh, no, eat it, no. Eh, you can say ate it, okay, ate it, in present and past, okay, eat it, cómaselo, eat it, como una orden, ah. right, no me gusta el pescado, eat it, I don't like fish, eat it, okay, I don't like rice, eat it, it's good for your health. Ok, eh, no se levante hasta que no coma. I ate it. Ya me lo comí. I ate it in past tense. Ok, so in this case, because the, the sound, if you see the sound is eight. Aquí no termina en T, pero el sonido sí. Eight. Ok, entonces esto es cuestión de sonido. Right, ate it. Here say eat. Ok, ate it. Okay, and from when we say uh, Freddy, buy in present, nada que ver, right? We say buy it. Comprar. Uh -huh, but in past, 
finishes with tea. Got it. I saw a nice TV today and I bought it. Bought I it, uh, cómpralo. No, bought, bought it is in past tense. And then oh. I saw, I saw a nice okay. TV today in the supermarket. It was cheap and I bought it. Okay. What bought it is como, como lo compré. Uh-huh, exactly, right. I saw a nice uh, computer. I liked it. I liked, look at this one, liked. I liked it. I saw a nice computer and I liked it. So I bought it. Okay. Vean como van saliendo los the words, right? I saw a nice computer today. I saw a nice computer and I liked it. So I bought it. Liked it. Liked it. Liked it. They so have liked it. This is the finish. The, the sounds at the end is a T. Liked. Liked it. Bought. Bought it. Okay. Light. How did, como diría, ilumínelo. No elimínelo. So you say ilumínelo. Light. 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 Light it. Light it. Light it. Ilumínelo. Ilumínelo, ilumínelo. Okay. Light it. Yes. Light it. Light it. No eliminelo. No se ponga agresiva. Okay. Light. Eliminate. 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 Yeah, you say extra. Eliminate. Termina con T, but this is eliminated. Okay. Eliminate. Terminate. Terminate. También existe. Terminate. Terminate. Okay. In the película de Terminator said Terminator. Yes. Okay. Have it. Okay. En los anuncios de, de Nike. Ajá. Uh -huh. Perdón, Romeo, ¿cuál fue el final? En los Na anuncios sale. Uh -huh. Oh, run, run it. Run it. Uh -huh. Run it. Run it. Just do it. Run it. Just do it. Run it. Do it. Yes. El run it. Huh? Yes. There is another one like send it. Hay otras palabras, hay otros sonidos, no solo T y N. Seen it. Okay, I have seen it. Have you seen that movie? Yes, I have seen it twice. ¿Ya he visto la película? Yes, I have seen it twice. <clears throat> Then you say, I have, I have seen it twice. Right? I have seen it twice. I have seen it twice. Ya han visto a... What is the name? I don't know. Jennifer Aniston. Oh, yes. I have seen her. Okay. Many times. Okay. Uh -huh. She's beautiful. Okay. Say, I have seen her. Seen her. Aquí la H. No suena, right? Have seen her. Seen her. Para que no enojen la señora, ¿no? Have you seen uh, Brad Pitt? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, ¿Cómo es que sale, que sale de Thor? Uh, Hamburg yes. something. Chris Hamburg, right? Yes. Say, uh, I, have, <laughs> I have seen him. I have seen him. I have seen him. Está aquí. I've seen him. Okay. Voy a le poner como una, como una E también. Seen him. Okay. 
okay I'll, I'll see him okay see him sooner okay todas estas linking link sounds exist in english right y por eso que una vez dice no es que no no entiendo no hemos aprendido a decodificar es diferente okay acostumbrarnos a hablar de esa manera y escuchar que hablen así entonces Cuando escuchamos conversaciones en película, así hablan, right? I've seen her, I've seen him, no tell him. Eh, strike him, strike her. Atáquelo, atáquela, strike him. Right, a strike him. Uh, strike him. Right, a strike him, atáquelo, right? Go for it, go for it. Okay, so these are different sounds. Ok. Eh, aquí no es el tiempo gramatical, sino que los sonidos. Ok. Aquí estamos hablando de bought it, ate it, eat it. Ok. ¿Cuándo es posible hacer ese link? Esa unión, right? When it is possible and when it is not possible. Okay. Uh, okay, do you have any other question? No. No. O sea que los complementos, teacher, los, yes. los complementos es cuando es una cosa, es ir. Cuando es masculino es he, cuando es femenino es her, y, y cuando es plural, plural. thing. ¿Cuándo, perdón? Thing. ¿Cuándo es plural? H plural. Es them. Mm -hmm. Them. Them. Ok. Por ejemplo, esa es una buena pregunta. Por ejemplo, yes. Y de ver lent. Lent. Min. Ten. Spend. Lent. Ajá. Lend it. Lend it. Lend it. Present. Eh, and then we have them. This is. This is the plural, eh, Romeo. Ellos. Mm, depends. Depends, really. Porque acuérdense que estos son después de la acción. For example, okay. tell them. Tell. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. ¿Y qué está? Uh, Estos son bien comunes en inglés. Mm -hmm. right? eh, <ríe> cuando el hijo le dice a la mamá, cuando venga mi papá le voy a decir que me regañaste. Eh, cuando el papá llega a la mamá le dice, ok, ok, tell him, tell him, here. Va a decirle, tell him, tell him. Ah, ah, pero yeah. se, se oye, tell him, tell him. Ok, decirle pues, yeah, tell him. Ok, or the opposite, right? Tell her. O cuando a alguien, a un amigo le gusta una amiga y el amigo le dice, ah, ahí está, mira, tell her, tell her. Decirle, <laughs> decirle, tell her. Ok. They say, tell her, tell him, tell him, tell them. Tell him, tell him. Dígales, tell them. Oh, tell us. Tell us. Tell us the tell, truth. Tell them es como dígales. Mm -hmm. Ok, ok. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Tell him es dígale y el otro es tell her, decirle. Eh, es el mismo que él, pero lo que ella. Ajá, ok, ok. okay. Es dígale, pero a ella. Tell him, mm -hmm. dígale a él. Okay. En inglés, es him, ya sabe que es él. Mm -hmm. Ok. 
in Spanish is more difficult. And tell us, digan. Tell us. Tell us. Okay, Carol. Tell us. Tell us your. Tell us your secrets. <laughs> no, no, Carol. It's true. Okay, tell us the truth. Okay, tell us the truth. Díganos la verdad. <laughs> tell us the truth. Okay, así les decimos nosotros a los políticos. <laughs> tell us the truth. But they don't, mm -hmm. they don't. Okay, tell us the truth. Uh, yeah, what else? Uh, tell us a tale. Tell us a story. Okay, the children to the, the children to the parents, right? The children to the mother or the fathers. Hey, tell us a story. Tell us a uh, bedtime. Okay, tell us a bedtime story. Okay, and then the mother or the father tell a bedtime story to the children, right? What is a nice uh, bedtime story for children? Uh, probably when you talk about the the which one would it be one of those uh, tales from I don't know Bambi okay or probably you know the little red riding hood caperucita roja right so uh, mm -hmm. it's snow white the snow white Cenicienta. Uh -huh, the, the Cinderella, Cinderella. Right? Cinderella. Okay, so those are enough bedtime stories, right? For children. Okay, so you see, it's not only with T or D, right? There are others. There are others. Tell it. Okay, then this is say it too. Okay. And this is for you to, to remember that there are many, many sounds. And that you can, that you can find with verbs. Eh, todos los verbos transitivos son los que tienen el objeto directo. Yo creo que eso lo van a ver más adelante. And when you say, for example, eh, los que llevan un verbo objeto después, right? So when you say, um, uh, for example, stop it, tell me, say it, read it, uh, drive it. Uh, for example, uh, hay algunos verbos que depende del contexto. For example, run it, puede ser administrar algo, but if you say, for example, only run, El verbo correr no es transitivo. Porque yo no puedo decir, eh, run me, córrame. Okay, when well, you're talking about running. But if you are talking about a program at the, in computer, you can run a program, right? Se puede correr un programa in computer. And that, in that case, you can say, run it, córrame. Okay, run the program. Okay, so depends, okay. depends, uh -huh, depends on the context. Okay, so some verbs sure. can be transitive and sometimes they are not transitive. And the verb meet, meeting, meet. Meet him, uh -huh. meet, when you have a meeting, for example, or you meet a person. For example, I met her. Okay, I met, uh, for example, but in that case, meet it, uh, usually you meet with people. I meet him, I meet her, I meet them, uh, I meet her, I meet him, mm. uh, meet us. Uh, okay. But meet it, si con it, a menos que fuera un objeto, I don't know. In that okay, case, okay, no, okay. it won't make sense. Mm -hmm. eh, es cuando relacionamos, relacionamos objetos entonces. No, eh, no. I, look, Lo que hay que ver es que el, hay casos en los que no le va a pegar estos verbos. Por ejemplo, mm. meet es, sí es un verbo transitivo, pero no tiene sentido con it. Mm -hmm. 
Tela pues dice, uh, I met her, la conocí o me reuní con ella. Depende de, uh, depends on the context. Mm -hmm. English is very contextual. Uh, mm -hmm. You can also say, uh, but you cannot say I met it, a menos que conocí a mi perro, right? I met it. I met it. Uh, sería el único caso. Well, it's a minute, but we can use it at the end. Mm -hmm. But okay. in all the other cases, you can use him, her, it, uh, I mean, it, us, or them. Or you. For example, I met you last month. La conocí, o me encontré, o me reuní. I met you last month. Okay? Okay, people. Let me see. Okay, the next one. I know there is no more. I think this is the last exercise we have. The next one is about the test. I don't know if you have any questions about the the platform in the exercises from I don't know from one to five. From this unit, so this section. So uh, tomorrow we're going to begin with the test. We're going to check the test. Or if you have any questions about the test. Okay. Please. Okay. We have a uh, midterm. The section four. Descriptions. Uh, tomorrow we are going to practice with this vocabulary. Okay, we're going to practice with descriptions, how to describe people. What does he look like? What does she look like? Okay, and using vocabulary about it. Okay. Okay, any other question? No. Are you sure? This is your last chance. The last opportunity. Like, like, like they say, right? Say it now or shut it up forever. Dígalo ahora o cállalo para siempre, right? No. Yes. Un poco confuso. Cuando utilizar el lit. Lit. Gracias. ¿Tienes una? En what sense, Marily? Um, teacher, lo que pasa es que cuando dice usted que los verbos terminan en T o en D, pues yo entendí que podíamos usar el, el IT. Pero no con todos los verbos. Ajá, es. Si son transitivos o no. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Okay. ok. Lo único que usted sabe que cuando sí se puede utilizar, va a usar, se va a sonar como tried it. Or stopped it, okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, for example, but if you use uh, verbs that like el caso de meet, mm -hmm. okay. For example, that uh, it's not possible to say meet it. Pero en el caso de eat, sí se puede decir eat it. Cómalo, cómase. Okay. But uh, in the case of meat, en ese caso no, no siempre. O sea, usted lo puede decir va a decir meet it, pero algo sin sentido. En el sonido, que se puede hacer el link, yes. Okay. But okay, that's, okay. that's one thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank what you. else? No problem. Just, uh, I, just let me see if I have a, something else to show you but mm -hmm.
about the descriptions that we have for tomorrow. I think I will have to, I want to, I want to, I try to fix it, but I, because it's a page with some images and descriptions. But I will send it to you later, right? Uh, in that page, you will find the, the descriptions of people. And then we are going to practice that conversation tomorrow and, and test. Okay, so for tomorrow, we only have the test, uh, which is the last one. If you have questions, specific questions about the test tomorrow at the beginning of the class, that will be the first, the first thing that we're going to do. And after we're going to do the, the oral practice. And, and in the last uh, 10 minutes, uh, Suli has prepared some sandwiches and hamburgers to celebrate uh, Christmas tomorrow, okay? Virtual, virtual, virtual uh, hamburgers. Right, Suli? Okay. Se estado quemando los dedos ahí en la cocina, Suli. No. For tomorrow, for tomorrow's dinner. And then uh, Carol, Carol is going to bring the sodas. Okay, Urania is bringing uh, the, the balloons. Mm -hmm. Okay, then uh, I don't know, probably Romeo is going to bring presents for presents for everybody. And then, okay. So tomorrow, okay. Now, tomorrow we can talk about, and we're gonna talk about resolutions. You know what a resolution is? What is a resolution? Resolution. Resolution. Mm -hmm. What are your uh, resolutions for next year? Uh, like the plane. What? plans, the propósito del próximo año, right? Uh, to learn more English. Exactly, right? So then tomorrow mm -hmm. we are going to talk, preparing sus resolutions, okay, okay. the resolutions that you have from next year, so that we are going to auto practice, okay, about resolutions, descriptions, people, okay? And that's it. Okay, okay. so I will see you tomorrow. See you. Have a, have a good night. Good night, okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Uh, good night. 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 Good night.